What's going on, Boulder Crest? Yes, and to our big fam, the Boulder Crest extended family. You may not be in Atlanta, GA. You may not be able to visit the physical building located on Boulder Crest Road in Atlanta, but guess what? You rock with us every single week virtually online, and we appreciate you. We appreciate what you contribute to this virtual assembly. Let's go. And to the visitors, this showed up on your timeline or news feed. Stop scrolling right now. Don't do this. Just stop it. Stop it because this is for you. You're going to learn something today. You're going to sing with us. You're going to rock with us. Let's go. Stay with us. Yo, and I got to introduce myself to you. Like, who is this dude? Oh, got to get my glasses. I am your favorite brother in Christ. Ron Wilkie, it's my pleasure to host and moderate the chat. So if you have any questions, put it in the chat. Let's go. If you have any prayer requests, put it in the chat. I will respond or a member of the Boulder Crest family because we love you. We'll respond to you. We will pray for you. We will also make sure that the elders will get your prayer requests and they pray for everybody every Thursday at 5 p.m. on the elders prayer call. We are glad that you are with us. Let's go. What today is August 14th, 2022. Let's go. Are you ready? Before we go any further, make sure you like this video. Yeah, make sure you share it. Make sure you send it to all of your friends. And every single day, strive to do what? Be different. Yes, be different. Don't be like everybody else. We're not like everybody else. We're a chosen priesthood. We rock with Jesus. Let's go. We're going to study God's work. I'm so excited. And speaking of studying God's work, do you remember what we studied last week? Here is a recap. This is so good. Let's go ahead and rock with it. Boulder Crest 2.0. Let's go. Christian life. He says this. Here's the piece I really want you to get. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. The prayer of a righteous person. Now he says, I want you to be praying for one another. Here's why that's effective, because the prayer of a righteous person has great power. The righteous person is the person who is living rightly before God. You might say, well, that's not me. That takes me out of the equation because sometimes I live right. Sometimes I don't live right. You know what? I'm your preacher. Sometimes I do right. Sometimes I don't do right. But see, that doesn't disqualify you from being considered righteous in the sight of God. Truly, in our sight, we're not righteous. We are unrighteous. But the righteousness that James is speaking about is righteousness that is not earned. It's a righteousness that is imputed to us. It is Jesus' righteousness that we get to experience. See, Jesus' death on a cross made those who are unrighteous in reality righteous in the sight of God. Amen. Oh, that's, oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. That's, that's worth saying amen, amen to. Amen. That's amen. worth shouting about. Let's go. Let's go. Woo, right. Jesus made us righteous. All right, let's go. So every time, every single Sunday, every single week, we always try to give you something to remember, something to obey, and something to apply. Why do we do this? To build a spiritual character, to be more like Jesus. That's the whole goal, to be more like Jesus, right? So what do we take from it? From last week, remember, there is power in your prayer. And what do we obey? Even when you don't feel like it, when things are tough, you just don't know what to say, pray. Just pray anyway, even when you don't feel like it, pray, right? And how do we apply this to our everyday lives? Pray for strength in suffering, healing in sickness, deliverance from sin. Woo! That's what we did throughout the week. We pray for strength in suffering, 
healing and sickness and deliverance from sin. And we should continue to do this all the time. Boom! Yes! All right. So our scripture reading for today, before we start our virtual assembly, is taken from Proverbs 3, verses 9 and 10. We can all read this together out loud. Are you ready? And the Bible reads, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with your first fruits of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will be bursting with wine. That's right, because it's all God's anyway, right? It's all his. We use all of our wealth. We use our first fruits to do his will, to do the will of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the furtherance of the kingdom. Let's go. <laughs> all right. So before we go any further, before we start the virtual assembly, I just want to make sure that you know that we have an app. It's Boulder Crest COC in your favorite app store. Make sure you get it. Because we have all the legacy sermons and, and groups you can join, Sunday morning, prayer requests, Bible studies, all of that good information right there in there. Okay, let's go. We are about to start our virtual assembly right after this prayer. And don't forget, after the sermon, we will have announcements. Don't forget to pray for our project, 3.5 million disciple making mission throughout the week. All right. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name. You are magnificent. You have it going on. And we have the audacity right now to pray and know that you will deliver all of our all of all of the things that we need, that you know that we need. You have that, Heavenly Father. You deliver that. And we appreciate that. And at this time, Heavenly Father, as we come to sing praise to you, as we come to study your word and pray, we pray, Heavenly Father, that all distractions are taken away. We can focus on you. And every single thing we do will be pleasing and acceptable in your eyesight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Don't you know that? Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah. church family. It's time for communion. This is the time where we celebrate the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. An example of how this should be done is given in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 through 30 and it reads, For I received from the Lord which also I delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus in the same night in which you were betrayed, he took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said, This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever, therefore, eats this bread and drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty concerning the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, that he that eat it and drink of this cup but anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the Lord's body 
discern judgment among themselves. This caused many and weak among you and many sleep. Let us pray for the bread and the cup. Most kind, most graciously, heavenly fathers, once again we come before you with bowed heads and humble hearts. Father, thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. Father, we thank you for this bread which represents your broken body and this cup which represents your shed blood. Father, we take this with clean hands and pure hearts. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Show, show me the Come to another part of the worship service collection. I want to thank you for your gifts and contribution. They've allowed us to help our brothers and sisters not only locally but also global. You will have a chance to give online through the, the Bodacrest app. Your contributions really do matter. Example of how we should give is given in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verses 1 and 2. Not concerning collection for the saints, if I directed the churches of Galatia. So also do you. On the first day of every week, 
Each one to put something aside as he store it up, as he may prosper, that there be no collection when I come. Let us give thanks for the collection. The Heavenly Father, is once again we come before you with bow heads and humble hearts. Father, I want to thank you for allowing us to have the opportunity to go out and earn and come and give a portion back to you. Father, I want to especially thank you for the ones who had a desire to give as you the blessing that they can give at the next appointed time. Father, we want to just ask that you would these funds be used for the building of your kingdom and the edification of your name. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Good morning, church. It's prayer time. Uh, we please ask that you put all of your prayer requests in the chat so that we can keep you all in mind as we pray throughout the week. And let us go to God in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we come to you humbled and just grateful for the opportunity to be able to talk to you, Lord. Um, to be able to come to you as a safe haven for us to bless all of our worries, um, all of the stress, some of the burdens we may carry, 